Hey, what's going on, party people? I know it's like 12.45 in the morning, <clears throat> Sunday morning, so I'm, yeah, I'm up early, late, however you want to call it. Hey, I just wanted to throw this video out here real quick. Um, one of the things that you should do whenever, and I think I mentioned it before, but for some reason it just popped in my head tonight, and I said, let me just throw this out here. Um, when you are letting the title or the signing company know whoever, you're communicating with that a customer can't do a signing at a particular time. All and they and they say you know I can't do it at four in the afternoon, but I can do it at eight in the evening or whatever the time may be, the new time. When you respond back to them, make sure you let them know that you are available at that time, at the new time. <clears throat> and let's say I've done twenty of these. Out of twenty of them that have come up recently i forgot to do it that one time and the person asked me well are you going to still do the signing and the reason why that's important that you communicate to them that you are available and normally what i do and for and the, i didn't do it that time and the reason why is because i had already said that i would do it but that was in the online portal he was emailing me back and forth i'm thinking to myself that they already looked at the online portal and saw both times where I said I'm available. So what I normally do is in this case, the person, let's say they, the signing was on at two o'clock in the afternoon, but the person couldn't be there at two o'clock and they wanted to do it at five o'clock. I would say, you know, just um, Mr. Smith stated that two o'clock appointment is not um, good for him and that he, are, him and his wife is, are available at 5 p.m. And I and then I put this statement in there, I can accommodate that time change. Or if it's a date change, meaning a different date and time, I can accommodate the date and the time change. Or something to that effect, you need to say that you can accommodate them. You want to let them know you can accommodate them, if you can. If you can't, then you tell them. But if you leave it blank, like, hey, they just want they want to change the time, the schedule, for whatever reason, they don't get that you will still want to do it, too, that you can support that time change. So you actually have to tell them. And one, the one time I didn't say anything, primarily because I thought they already knew and understood because of the other communications I'd done. They were like, so are you able to do this or not so that we can get somebody else? And I was like. And I even told him back, I said, I've been indicated in both times I've communicated with y'all that I can accommodate the time change, that I am willing to do the time change. I was like, okay, what else do you need me to say? And then he came back and said, oh, okay, fine, we'll keep you on. So if you are changing the time, and not so much that you yourself are changing time, but the time has to be changed, make sure you let them know you are available for that time change if you are of course you would tell them that if you're not but if you are don't assume that they'll just figure it out like oh okay well because you're saying it and you because you didn't say you weren't available that means you are available it don't work that way maybe every now and then but for the most part you need to make sure you let them know all right but i just wanted to share that with y'all before i call it a night and get me some rest all right peace